The Bioeconomy Institute carbon removal team at Iowa State University has developed technology to achieve carbon dioxide removal from the atmosphere by converting crop residues and other sustainably sourced biomass feedstocks into biochar and a slate of renewable products. The demonstration plant, located in Redfield, Iowa, is a collaboration among Iowa State University, the technology provider, Stein Seed Company, the owner and operator of the plant, and Frontline Bioenergy, which provided EPC services to the project. The demonstration plant is designed to process 50 tons per day of corn stover, the crop residue from corn harvesting that consists of stalks, leaves, and cups. Here we see whole bales of stover being picked up by a telehandler and placed on the conveyor at the front end of the processing plant. The bales are conveyed through a two-stage grinding operation. They are shredded and the particles milled finer than one half inch. The feed stream is separated using a cyclonic classifier and conveyed to an intermediate storage bin. The cyclone allows ash and dirt-laden dust particles too fine for pyrolysis to pass overhead, where these particles are collected using a high-efficiency bag house to control dust emissions and maintain local environmental air quality. From the storage bin, the biomass is conveyed into the building housing the pyrolyzer and to the top floor of the system to fill the main feed hopper. Visible below the conveyor are process modules housing water and gas conditioning equipment to provide utility services to the plant. At the heart of the demonstration plant is the pyrolyzer itself, a fluidized bed reactor containing sand which operates at nearly 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. In order to achieve these temperatures, the conventional practice is to provide external sources of energy, typically using fossil fuels. However, our process contains a feature unique among its competitors. Oxygen, in the form of simple compressed air, burns a small part of the products inside the reactor in the patented process we call autothermal pyrolysis. These conditions balance the internal heat load in the reactor and instantly flash the biomass into condensable vapors and biochar, a recalcitrant form of solid biogenic carbon. Now when trained in the flow exiting the reactor, the vapors and biochar are passed through a series of gas cyclones that remove the solid particles from the gas flow and obtain the first of two primary products of the plant, biochar. Biochar leaving the gas cyclones is hot, dusty, and susceptible to ignition if exposed to air in this state. The biochar is cooled and then conditioned with water to de-dust and remove any remaining heat. In the stabilized form, it is conveyed outside the plant and accumulated for bulk storage. The condensable vapors pass to the next unit operation, which incorporates the second unique feature of the plant, our patented stage fractionation collection technology, which cools and condenses the heaviest fraction of the vapor into high-quality bio-oil, an energy-rich liquid that can be upgraded to biofuels or bio-based products. Our analysis suggests that these additional products, valued at several hundred dollars per ton, are essential to the profitability of biochar enterprises, which may have intrinsic value of only $100 to $200 per ton. We have documented our development of these products and their economic benefits in a series of publications over the last decade. After bio-oil collection, the remaining stream is primarily composed of light organic compounds and non-condensable gases, and is collectively referred to as tail gas. The tail gas is introduced to a thermal oxidizer, which combusts the flammable components of the tail gas in a low NOx burner. A small natural gas pilot light serves to both ignite the gases and maintain sufficiently high combustion temperatures needed to control plant emissions. Once accumulated in sufficient quantity, the conditioned biochar is ready for field application. In this form, the solid biogenic carbon can be incorporated into croplands where it both sequesters carbon for hundreds of years and builds soil fertility. Scientists and policymakers alike are increasingly recognizing biochar as a promising approach to durable carbon removal. The Iowa State Stein Seed Autothermal Pyrolysis Plant will be used to generate enough biochar to remove the equivalent of 1,000 tons of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere in less than one year. The plant serves to demonstrate that when the technology is adequately scaled and duplicated, gigaton levels of carbon removal are both possible and economically viable.